Hey everyone, Aja and Mumu here from Pandemonium. <laughs> you can go lay in the shade. Today I want to have a little discussion. It's the dreadful talk. Actually, it's not that bad. Um, I just want to go over likes and dislikes concerning videos. And it's really not that big of an issue. I'm also wanting to talk about 360 videos. And that's later in the video. And I'll go over... Oops. I'll go over um, how to use 360 but that will be later in the video and if you're not interested in that you can always just skip because that will be the la later part of the video um, now I put out a wide variety of videos including 360 I do driving videos I do vlogs just daily vlogs now I know everybody's not going to be into everything. There are some people that are like, well, I don't like the driving videos. And there are some people that really enjoy the driving videos so they can see um, where I'm going, how I'm getting there, and just the daily route. So I know it's not going to please everybody all the time. But if you don't like the particular video, you can skip. Also with the 360, that is the main reason I did this video because people are having difficulty or they don't like 360 videos. Um, I put 360 in the title so that way you'll know if it's a 360 video you can just skip it if you're not interested in that specific thing. So I know that every video isn't going to appeal to everyone but I shoot a wide variety of videos because I have over 35,000 subscribers and I, um, I'm trying to give the audience, which is y'all, a wide range of different things, not just the same thing over and over. So that's why sometimes when I'm in an area, I'll shoot um, the, the tribe. If I'm with a group or a friends or family, I'll shoot them. And that's just my daily life and that's all I can really do uh, if I'm doing a tour the reason why I shoot 360 lately is because I can't show you everything it's really hard for me to show you everything and with 360 you can pause the video and you can just take a look around at everything or even while it's going I'm gonna show you what it should look like on your phone tablet um, it does not work on TVs, so if you're watching it on TV, it's not going to work. You have to get an interactive device, which is usually a phone, a tablet, a laptop, or a computer. So, that's unfortunate, but it's limited. It, you can't watch it on a TV. It'll, it'll look weird. <laughs> yes, I've already had someone show me uh, or send me a picture on how it looked on their TV. It wasn't that weird, but yeah, it... Um, it unfolds it because it should be 360 so it breaks it apart and puts it flat on a TV and you're seeing both sides and it's a little awkward to watch so it, I wouldn't suggest watching it on a TV and back to like I said everybody's not going to be interested in everything I get it so and all I can do is film a variety of things and hope you like what I film but if you don't, it's okay. You can skip that video. I, I understand if you're not into driving videos or if you're not into watching um, like the mukbang where uh, we eat or if you're not into watching, you know, when I'm with the tribe and we're hanging out. It's all good. I just tried to shoot, uh, like I said, a variety of stuff hoping that people will enjoy it. And this is my life and all I can do is share my life and hope you enjoy it. I did have a guy mention in a comment that I was... <coughs> I did have someone mention in a comment, which I know one person out of 35,000, I really shouldn't say anything about it, but I just want to address the situation that I was going to ruin my channel by shooting in 360. Now, I still do my normal vlogs. 360 is just tour videos. And every once in a while, like I said, it's interactive. You can see way more with the 360 video than you can. It's just about getting used to 360. It was a little weird when I started watching 360 videos, but I got accustomed to them. Just like change. A lot of people don't like change, so... But it happens, and 360 videos are great and very interactive. Like I said, you can watch so much or see so much and 
it just makes it easier when you're doing a tour video like if I'm touring a place or I might even do a tour of someone's rig in 360 because then I, I when I'm doing a tour I shoot specific things and I try to get everything in but it's not always possible with 360 that is possible because you can just take a look around while um, we're talking about the rig and you can see basically everything <coughs> So do I think 360 will ruin my channel? No, because I don't show it all the time. I still do my main vlog in the normal style that I do, which everybody has grown accustomed to. I just um, do 360s to add in, to give it a little variety and something different. And like I said, if you're not interested in 360, it's okay, you can skip that video. I usually title it 360, that way you know that that's what the video is about. Excuse the crack on my laptop. It happened when it was in my duffel bag. That's unfortunate, but I can still show you. Now, what I'm going to show you is the 360 video. There are several ways to watch them. You can watch them on a laptop, desktop, um, tablet, or phone. Unfortunately, you cannot watch it on a TV. It just doesn't look right. It's not an interactive machine, so it will not play the 360 properly. Now, I am on my laptop right here, and as you can see down here, it's loading pretty slow. But the thing is, is that you can choose, if you go to this little settings button at the bottom, or if you're on your um, phone or tablet, there should be three buttons. It's like three little dots up at the top right corner, and settings should be in that. So you want to go over to your quality here. I have 1080 chosen. You can go to 4K, but you have to have really good bandwidth and high-speed internet, or else it will take forever to load. So if you're trying to watch it in 4K and your bandwidth isn't great, then it will probably never ever load. That's unfortunate. Um, so what you can do is select a lower grade and see how it loads. Um, I'm on 1080p. It's still, because I don't have the greatest bandwidth. It's, it's good, but not that great. Actually, let me see. I might should switch it. What am I on? Okay, I'm on the right one. I have uh, three different internets. I just had to check and see which one I'm on. So I'm just going to leave it at this one for now. It is loading at 1080p, but, and that usually is good quality when you're watching it on, if you're watching it on a smaller device instead of a laptop or desktop, then you can probably choose a lower, I wouldn't go any lower than 480, usually 720 is good on a device, then everything is clear, but if you watch it in 480, then it starts to diminish, and then the people who watch it, it's, it's sometimes it'll automatically choose for you and choose the lowest resolution, which is 144p, and that's why it is um, so blurry for some people. So that's why I say try the highest resolution that is the best and loads good for you. Now let me add this in. Not every device is 360 capable. If it's not playing right, this is how it should look right here just like a normal video it should look just like this if it looks warped or funny then your device is not set up for 360 and the good thing about 360 like i said is that it should be interactive you should be able to look up at the trees the sky you should be able to pan around and look at the um beautiful fountain of youth isn't that awesome <laughs> let me enlarge in the screen okay now let's go ahead and start the video. I'll pan back around. Um, like I said, if you're on a device, you can just move your device around instead of, but I'm using my mouse right now to look around. We'll start with Moo Moo and I. Park. This is a 360 video, so don't forget to check the settings and make sure you choose the highest resolution. Shut that video. 1080p, and then also uh, you can scroll around with your finger Actually, you can take a look, and there is the, I think they call it the Fountain of Youth. So let's pause that, and let's take a look at what I was talking about. Oh, there's the Fountain of Youth. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. Let's so continue. It is and clear. 
the water is. Oh, Terry's waving across the way. And as you can see, Terry's right there. Yeah, it's she's small, really so it's hard to see her. Florida. Right, Lulu? Yes. But, you know, when I'm talking... Is, um, overcast today, but it's still... You can look around. I jacked on because it was cold earlier, but it feels like it's warming up. It's nice. I'm going to take a walk around here in a little bit. The um, pool is not busy at all today. It is a Monday. So it should look like a normal video just on your screen. If it does not look like this, then your um, device is not 360 capable and you'll, you'll have to find a device that is 360 capable. It's just that, because uh, I know there are some phones, there are some tablets that just don't play 360. It has to be 360 capable where you can move around. Up oh, there are my feet. <laughs> There's Moo Moo, there I am. And... Yeah, so we're going to continue so on. The reason why. So awesome here. I almost want to go dip in the pool. They say it stays at moderate temperature. I might check later and see. How does the water feel over there? It, it feels like it's 68 degrees. Is it 60? Does it stay 68 degrees? There's oh, Terry and, um, oh, sorry, Terry and Scott over there. That's who I'm yelling at. There's turtles and fish in there as well. Yeah, I saw them. That is so cool. What do you think, Lulu, huh? I don't think they allow dogs to swim in there. But the, the good thing is them. you can just see everything that's going I on. I don't have to point the camera because, honestly, I mean, you can only point the camera at one spot and maybe change um, angles. But with this way, especially doing a tour of a place, you can see everything. Everything. I mean, up into the trees, the water, way over there on that side of the state park. You can see, or you can look at Mumu and myself. So yeah, this is what a 360 should look like on your device. If it looks warped, then your device is not capable of playing 360. And I'm sorry, but it, that's just how it is. If it is capable, because I, I mean, I know there, I get more dislikes on a 360 video. I think that's because people are having a problem um, viewing it and they're having a hard time understanding 360. So, but I'm also getting a lot of likes on 360. So there are, I mean, tons of people out there that like 360. And if you don't, and it just doesn't work for you, I get it. You can skip the 360 video. But it is an interactive video. It is awesome to watch. And some people say it can be a little um, confusing. But if it looks like a normal video, you just don't pan as much. You just go to where you want to. You, like, if I'm talking, then just look at me. Or if I'm talking about something, just pan around to where the what, what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm talking about this tree here. The pressed base and numerous conical knees. The knees are thought to provide oxygen to the root system during high waters. You don't have to um, look everywhere all the time. Just. If I'm walking, look in the direction I'm walking. Because, you know, it, it, yeah, it could be a little confusing if you're looking around all the time. You just need to find so a point, like me, and then um, look at it. Or, if you don't want to see me, if you'd rather see the stuff around, then just look in the direction I'm walking. Every once in a while, you can pivot around. That lake was, I mean, that uh, pool was really pretty. and construction here especially on the parking area over there. But see, normally it looks like a regular video. Let's walk over to the It's just interactive. It says, it's how much you move your device. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I watch it on my device. It's really hard for you to see. Maybe I should take this screen off. Let me pause it real quick. Um, this is a different experience when you watch it on your phone because oh wait B okay so let's see what the quality is I just hold on a second okay up here there are three dots and you can select those three dots and it brings up your quality which is right there I'm watching it in 480 
and I can choose a higher quality but I'm on my phone so I'm just gonna watch it on that because it'll load quicker on my phone but if I want better quality then what I'll do is I'll load it at 1080p or 720 and it plays just fine because it's a smaller device and I'll uh, let it load but it will take a moment to load longer so the thing about this is that it's a different experience than if you're on your desktop or computer because you can move around but most people are doing this and that would make anybody dizzy you you don't want to move that fast when you're looking like this you want to do slow motion look down slowly look up and you don't this is a much better experience when you're watching it this way it is blurry because it's in 480 I should have chose a higher resolution but it's okay I can look at this um, water that I came to you can just pan around but you have to do it slowly or you'll make yourself dizzy it's just like when I when I'm shooting and I pan I film slowly when I'm panning because if you do this then you're gonna make then I'll make you dizzy by panning that way so you don't want to do it to yourself and you don't want to be like this oh my god oh my god oh my yeah I know it's it's um, interesting at first but yeah you can make yourself dizzy so and also if I want to pan I can use my finger to just look around watching it on a device like this is the best way there's also the VR which um, I'm not going to show you um, there's a but I'll show you how to get you go to the settings which is in the top corner and then it says what at the bottom it says watch in VR if you have a VR headset it'll play it in VR and you can just put it in your VR I guess I can show you I do have a VR device but yeah when you're panning pan slowly so you don't make yourself dizzy you can look up at the trees or you can just take your finger and look around just, just look slowly don't look uh, most people want to move so fast and they make themselves dizzy so yeah that's basically it let me get my VR out and show you how it is on VR <laughs> now you can buy a VR headset from Walmart or anywhere you go they have them only if your phone is capable but I was fortunate my old phone um, actually uh, came with a VR set so I just place it in there and I can watch the video in VR if it's a 360 video like I said it has to be capable and on this one it's set up for VR and this is a VR phone all I have to there's even VR videos and stuff but it can watch any 360 video I just have to go to YouTube all apps let's go to YouTube where's YouTube you need to select that little icon there it's for VR you just hit that and it brings up this screen so you just want it says experience YouTube in VR put continue see and this is what it looks like out of it it, it puts in two different things so let's pause that oops I've got to put it in here okay so I just snap it in there and then close that. I don't have my um, strap, but I'm just going to put this to my head. Ooh, it's dirty lens, dirty lens. Oh, cool. Okay, with this I need to choose a better resolution. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> but it's a little dizzying, but it's because I'm moving so fast. I, I can even play um, video games on this VR headset. Okay, I do need to choose a better quality. Hold on, there's buttons up here. Let me see something real quick. I want to definitely choose a better resolution when watching it in VR. So I'm going to choose 1080p. I'll probably have to wait for it to load in 1080p. Let's see if it's... Yep, it says 1080. Okay, so I want to press play and put it back in my... Oh, wait. Pause. Put it back in. There it goes. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so I'm going to look again. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, hey, it's me. Actually, this way of watching it makes it more interesting. It's just you have to be 
Uh, I wouldn't be standing up for this or I'd probably get dizzy. Just move slow and you can look around. This way it, it doesn't feel as dizzy. Little. Okay, I'm going over a bridge. Oh, we're about the end of the video, so I'm going to turn around and look at myself. Yep, I'm back there. Oh, there's, I can pause right there. Uh, so, um, there's a, a menu screen when you, like, turn around at a certain point, and then I can actually pause the video or fast forward or do anything like that, the settings. Oh, right there. Oh, when I look, I'm looking down. I'm pressing a button, that's why I think it is. The settings button. Oh, look at there's the ground. <laughs> yeah, I like this way. This is actually the first time I've tried one of my videos in uh, VR. You're calling a gator? That is just weird. That sounds more like a duck. But yeah, that's how you watch it on a VR. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, let me stop this. <laughs> Okay. In oh, look water. at the fish. That's what I was saying. So let me stop that. Okay. That would definitely take a minute to get used to. That was my first time viewing on a VR. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Thank you. Anyways, I wanted to share that with y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. And remember, I know that everybody isn't going to like every video. You know, people have different likes and it's okay to have different likes so if you're not into 360 then that's cool I do post that it's a 360 or if, or if I'm driving mainly then I will post that it's driving so just um, look at the title and hopefully that'll help you out to see if you want to watch the video and I do appreciate everybody viewing really I do all right, everybody, thank you for joining me today. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Moo Moo. <laughs> Moo Moo says bye, too. <laughs> bye.